Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to the first edition to a new tutorial series I'm going to be doing on how to make a basic clicker game. Another simple one for people who might be just getting into Scratch. I've been liking doing these kind of calm, uh, simple tutorials, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by obviously picking something that you're going to click on. So, what you can do is you can choose a sprite from the library. Or you can create your own. I'm just going to choose one from the library. Say I want to click on an egg. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll click on an egg. Okay, I'll make myself a little bit of a of a backdrop. Something that looks kind of nice, you know. Something that's a little easy on the eyes, like that blue. And then we have an egg right in the middle. I'm going to name this project Clicker game tutorial okay just so that i can keep this organized and know what i'm doing so let's set up a basic functionality of being able to click on this egg now i'm going to set its size to 200 just so we can see it a little bit better now what we could do is we could run to our events and grab a when sp when the sprite is clicked and then have something happen so let's make a let's make something let's make us a variable that'll tell us um, how much money we have. Let's make a variable. We're going to call it money. Okay. Feel free to, we could show it. I'm just going to have it up in the corner right there. So one thing that we should definitely do is make sure that when the green flag is clicked, that we, that was mine. I'm sorry. That we set our money to zero. That way, if we had like 68,000 money, whenever we'd press the green flag, it restart us so we can continue doing what we're doing so here's what we're going to do what we could do is we could make we could do this right and now what happens is whenever you click it the money goes up and that seems simple enough but if you want to add some other fancy effects there is a different way to do it as well so let's do this here's what we can do so let's have the egg go to here set it sized 200 and show it. That'll just make sure that it goes where it's supposed to go. Awesome. Now what we can do is we can come into our controls and grab a forever loop and put it right underneath. And then inside we can run an if statement. Okay. In this if statement we can do if touching your mouse we can do is we can come to looks and do change size by maybe let's say four. Right. And then, if it's not touching the mouse pointer, change it by negative four. Now, what this will do is, if you take a look, it'll be smaller, and whenever you touch it, it gets bigger. If you're thinking, why would you want that? That looks ridiculous. And I agree, but we can set stipulations for how big or how small it can get within this code. What we can do is we can put an if statement beneath the four, and we can come to operators and grab a greater than symbol. And we can come to our looks and grab our little size bubble and say, if our size is greater, so mine on average is 200. So if I say 210, let's say, if the size is greater than 210, then I can set the size to 210. If we duplicate this little if then and put it right underneath, we can swap these variables or swap it around to be smaller. If size is smaller than 200, we'll set the size to 200. Because 200 is what I start my size off as. So if you take a look now, You'll see it's not getting smaller, but it gets bigger when you hover over it. It just gives us this nice little zoom effect, right? Super nice. But now you'll realize that when we click, nothing happens. What can we do to make clicking happen in this, since we obviously can't fit one of these in there? Now, again, you could have this. You could do this, just like that, and it'd work all the same, right? And if, and if you're happy with that, you can do that. But what I like to do personally is inside this if touching mouse pointer, which would be this top half, because this else statement is if it's not touching the mouse pointer. So in this mouse pointer section, what we're going to do is we are going to simply, where are we? All right, control, and grab an if statement. We're going to put this above. So like inside is what it'll look like. So I'll just pull it out and code it here, and then I'll stick it back in. So, 
if come to sensing and put a mouse down in there that'll sense your click and since you're touching the mouse pointer you won't be clicking anywhere it'll be when you're clicking on this only because it's checking for a mouse down inside of the touching mouse pointer meaning if it's touching the mouse pointer and the mouse is down meaning you are clicking it'll register that you are clicking it and it'll do the exact same thing that uh that that this block does so if mouse down then what we should do immediately is we should wait until go to your operators and say not mouse down and i'll keep this out for now and i'll show you why you want this in there at the end so then what you can do is you can say change money by one bam so again i'm going to leave it out now and you think you click it it changes your money by one well here's the issue with this system you can hold down the button and your money just increases without actually having to constantly keep clicking so by adding in this wait until not mouse down right underneath it you have to click and then stop clicking and then it'll change it so take a look now if i hold down the mouse on it nothing happens until i let go let go it gives me one fantastic and you might maybe you maybe you like this how it gets bigger whenever you click it but if you don't i think we can just swap these around just like that and that should fix that little issue yep that does so if you like that when you click it it got a little bit bigger but otherwise if you don't want it just put it underneath and then it should fix all your issues there boom fantastic so there now i have a system and when you click it it gains it it takes your money and it increases it by one pretty awesome i think super basic super simple now let's say you wanted to add a sound whenever you click him that's very easy as well so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the sounds tab and when you open the sounds tab for the first time you'll probably have a sound in there already it'll probably be a pop sound you can feel free to delete that or use it if you want to so make sure you're in your egg variable make sure your egg variable is selected because all your sprites and your backdrops have their own set of sounds for example say you had an egg and a ball if the ball has a sound the egg won't be able to use that sound unless the egg also has that sound so let's add a sound i'm going to choose a sound from the library you can feel free to record one or upload one you have on your computer i'm just going to choose one and i like the if i go to effects i like this crunch sound so i'm going to add that and you'll see it's in the sounds menu and you see if i go to backdrops it doesn't have that sound so it can't use it but egg can since egg has it so now what we'll do is we'll just simply grab this start sound right here and we're gonna put it right underneath the change money and now you realize that if i go ahead and save this up make us full screen click on that green flag we have a little bit of this and whenever we click on it we make a noise whenever we click on it Pretty fantastic, I'd say. So that's a super easy way to do something like that. And uh, I think that's just where I'm going to leave this episode. Super short and simple. And there'll be more episodes teaching you some more stuff on this clicker game. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways. Because new tutorial series, super basic. If you're someone new to Scratch and new to the channel, welcome. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk to you. I'm not going to be able to talk to you.